Welcome back. It is Monday, so that means we get to check in with local CPA, Robin LeBlanc. Robin, thanks so much for being here with us today. Thank you for having me. Of course. So today's topic, we're learning about the adoption tax credit. What is that and what do viewers at home need to know? Um, the federal government allows for over a $14,000 tax credit on your federal return to kind of reimburse you with uh, expenses related to adoption. Mm -hmm. So this includes everything from your court costs, attorney fees, um, direct fees to adoption agencies, as well as travel expenses your plane tickets, meals, lodging that you're incurring in the process of adopting a child. Now, uh, generally children need to be under 18 to be adopted unless they're physically unable to take care of themselves, then they still may qualify mm -hmm. uh, towards this adoption credit. Now, one of the things that you, this doesn't count for is if you are legally adopting your spouse's child, okay. these, this credit wouldn't apply to you. Now, there are some phase out limits, such as everything when it comes to um, IRS tax credits. And so if you're making over that $223,000 mark um, for 2022, you need to start looking at if these phase outs are going to impact you. Mm -hmm. Also, this credit currently is not refundable. That means if you meet the full limit of 2022 of the $14,890 worth of expenses going towards your adoption, that credit is just going to keep rolling over year after year until you use it. Mm -hmm. And it's important to start tracking your expenses of the adoption process as soon as you start. For example, things like a home study that you'll get done um, so that to make sure your environment is the right environment, you're going to do this before you even start or um, have a specific child in mind. Mm -hmm. These expenses still cover and the credit can even overlap year to year. And because unfortunately, not all adoptions go through. If you are a trying in the process of adopting a domestic child, you're still able to take the tax credit even if the adoption doesn't pan out at the end of the day. These are all really great tips and advice. Thank you so much for breaking this down for our viewers out there in Acadiana. If people at home have questions, how can they contact you, Robin? Uh, give us a call at 337-330-4000 or shoot us an email at info at robinleblancpa.com. Awesome. Well, Robin, as always, so great to have you on this Monday afternoon. Thank you so much for joining us virtually today to explain this topic to our viewers. Thank you. Of course, if you at home want to learn more, you want to rewatch this, head to our website, klaf.com. We're going to post everything you need to know right there. But right now, let's go ahead and check in with Storm Track 15 meteorologist Adam Olivier. Hello.